Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jin, and today we're going to have another science read aloud. And the read aloud for today is What if you had animal teeth? That's right, this story is another one of the What if you had animal body parts. So, let's begin because I'm super excited to find out what will happen. See, you lost your front teeth. Before you know it, two new ones will push right into their space. But what if an animal's teeth grew instead? Hmm, that's a great question. What if an animal teeth grew instead? Let's find out. Beaver. A beaver's front teeth are shaped like scissors. Cool. And are very sharp. They are perfect for biting off bark and cutting down trees. Well, that suits it because beavers' houses are mostly log piles, so they can make their house look however they like. A beaver's front teeth, fact, a beaver's front teeth have a coating that contains iron that makes them super strong and orange. Orange teeth? Never heard of it, but it might be great. Let's move on. If you had beaver's teeth, your front teeth would never stop growing. So you could gnaw all the tough stuff you like day after day for all of your life. Cool. Look at him. He a uh, bit of the fence and the tree and the buildings and many other stuff. I don't know why. Anyway, let's just move on. Great white shark. A great white shark's front teeth are sh like all of its others, two inches long with an edge like a steak knife. They are great for biting through super thick things like elephant seal skin. They might be super thick because that's what it says. Fact, great white sharks get new teeth about every 100 days. That keeps their bite on its sharpest. Cool, so that means a great white shark will get a new teeth. Um, three times in a year because a year contains 365 days. Anyway, let's move on. If you had great white shark teeth, you never have to worry about losing a tooth. There will always be a new one growing behind it, ready to slide into place. And there would never be a gap in your bite. Awesome. And look at this girl. She Like a great white shark. Like all sharks lose their teeth like a million times a day. So she's going to get super rich from the tooth fairy. Lucky her. Anyway, let's move on. Narwhal. Narwhal is also known as the unicorn of the sea. A narwhal's front teeth do something quite strange. The right one stays small, but the left one grows longer and longer and longer to nearly 10 feet. That's super long! Once it's that big, it has a new name. Instead of a tooth, it's called a tusk. Cool. Fact, a narwhal's long tooth grows right through its upper lip. That must pain. That really must pain. And if it was for a human, it would look quite weird, but okay. What would you use your tusk for if you were a narwhal? Would you poke around to find fish or fight off your enemies? Or would you find your way through the dark parts of the ocean? Even scientists wonder what narwhals do with their tusk. When I was little, I thought a narwhal uses their tusk um, to do magical stuff like a unicorn. Anyway, let's move on. Elephant. An elephant's front teeth are also called tusk. Two. Um, a male's tusk grow between 5 and 7 inches long each year of its life. Great! The world record elephant tusk was more than 11 feet long. That's way more than a narwhal's tusk. They are great for digging water holes and pulling up tree roots to munch. I have never heard of an elephant munching a tree root. Anyway, let's move on. Fact, an elephant or right hand uh, tusk or left tusk. Meaning they use one tusk more than the other. Awesome. Like, we are left-handed and right-handed. They are left tusk and right tusk. Anyway, let's see the example. If you had an uh, elephant tusk as your front teeth, they would be super strong too. You could easily lift and move your bed or even the family car. That's so cool. And no one would bully you, not even tigers. Tigers will be scared of you. The tigers will be like, oh dear, that person has a tusk. I must run before I get hurt. Anyway, let's move on. Rattlesnake. A rattlesnake's front teeth are like are called fangs. They are shaped like hooks and the tips are like needles. Oh my gosh, that pains a lot. And plus, if one of these needles get into your skin, it will inject a deadly venom. Anyway, let's move on. 
they fold up like a pocket knife when the snake closes its mouth and snap forward when it's wide open. Cool, I like pocket knives. Actually, I don't. Anyway, let's move on. Fact, when folded back, a rattlesnake's flags slide inside fleshy covers that weigh the needle's tips don't nick the inside of the snake's mouth. Clever snakes. And plus, do you know something else about a rattlesnake? Just like the name, the rattlesnake's tail has a kind of rattle. Whenever it rattles, that means the snake thinks it's in danger. So whenever you hear a small rattle in the desert, then please run away immediately because there are rattlesnakes there. Anyway, let's move on. If you had rattlesnake fang, your friend teeth would inject deadly venom. I told you. So your teeth would be all in your need to fight out enemies or catch food to eat. Well, um, that might be useful for people who are bullied often. So like, um, no one will bully them. Anyway, let's move on. Naked mole rat. A naked mole rat's front teeth are shaped like shovels and or in front of its lips. They are perfect for digging the family's tunnels without getting a mouthful of dirt. Okay, that's cool. Anyway, let's move on to the fact. I love the fact. Fact. Like beavers, a naked mole rat's front teeth never stop growing. Biting hard roots and bulbs wears the teeth down so they don't get too long. Cool. Let's uh, move on to the example. I also love the example. If you had naked mole rat's front teeth, you could move each teeth separately to the left or to the right. They would work just like chopsticks for picking up food bite by bite. That's so cool. Anyway, let's move on to vampire bat. A vampire bat's front teeth are like triangular shaped and sharp as razors. Oh my god, they're sharp as razors. That's so like, they're so painful if you get a, a bite of a vampire bat. Anyway, let's move on. They're perfect for scooping out a bit of an animal's skin so they can uh, lap up the blood that flows into the wound. That is a bit creepy for some people, but um, I don't really know about other people's. Anyway, let's move on. Fact, baby vampire bats have teeth, but for the first four months, they aren't strong enough to fly and hunt. So they nurse and they eat baby, like vampire baby food, uh, which is blood their mother brings up from the stomach. If you had vampire bat front teeth, you wouldn't have to worry about them chipping since they lack a hard enamel coat. The edges would wear off uh, away easily and they would always stay sharp. So this girl here is just cutting wrapping paper with her teeth. You don't need scissors at all. That's cruel. I wonder what she's giving. Anyway, let's move on. Hippopotamus. A hippopotamus front teeth are long, strong pegs with very sharp edges. They're powerful weapons, so opening wide would show them off to help uh, hippos scare away their enemies and the males to win a mate. So many uh, animals scare away other um, other um, like uh, other animals of the same species just to win a mate. I seriously don't know why. Anyway, let's move on. Fact: Because a hippopotamus teeth don't go yellow over time, in the past they were made into dentists. That's so cool. So some people would use to eat with hippopotamus teeth including the first U.S. president, George Washington. Oh my god, that's that's just unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. If you had hippopotamus front teeth, you'd never need to brush. Your upper teeth would just grind against your lower ones, keeping them clean and white. Wow. Well, I prefer brushing more. Anyway, let's move on. Bengal tiger. A Bengal tiger's front teeth are a biting six-pack for sh uh, four sharp pegs edged by twin pointed cones set between its giant dagger-like canines. They are perfect for scraping feathers of birds and meat of bones. Fact. A mother tiger tries uses her front teeth to bite very gently as she picks up and moves her cub. That's cool. If you had Bengal tiger front teeth, you'd be, they would be so strong anchored to their jaw. You could bite and hold tight while dragging something as heavy as five times your weight. 
That is impressive, you know, for some people. Anyway, let's move on. Crocodile. I love crocodiles. A crocodile's front teeth are all sharp like cones and have very sharp tips. They bite well but come in out easily. And new ones grow in very slowly. So a crocodile front teeth are always changing and are often different size. Well, that won't really look good. Anyway, let's move on. Fact, crocodiles don't clean their own teeth. They open their mouths for small birds called uh, pullovers to pick up leftover food of their teeth. Let's move on. If you had crocodile front teeth, your teeth would stick out when you close your mouth so you wouldn't have to open wide um, when you go to the dentist or give a toothy grin. Cool. Anyway, let's move on. Camel. A young camel's front teeth are long, strong, and have very sharp edges. They are just right for nipping off tough, thorny desert plants. Fact. Baby camels' front teeth erupt through their gums, and by the time they're 14 days old, like you, camels have two sets of teeth. Camels get their adult front teeth when they are about 5 years old. If you had camel front teeth and ate tough uh, stuff 8 hours a day, as camels do, by the time you were a grown-up, your front teeth would be no more than stubs. Okay, anyway, let's move on. Animal teeth could be cool for a while. But you don't have to use your te front teeth to cut down trees or scare enemies. You don't have to. You don't need them to dig tunnels or bite really tough stuff. And you never need to lift the family car with your teeth, even for fun. So, what kind of teeth are f are right for you? Well, luckily, you don't have to choose. The teeth that replace those you lost will be people teeth. There will be what you need to bite apples, carrots, and corn on the cob. Just what you need to help you talk and best of all, to show you off when you smile. Great. I love people teeth. Anyway, let's move on. Where do teeth come from? Adult teeth start growing inside your jawbone soon after you are born, even while your baby teeth are getting ready to push through your gums. Any new growing teeth are called tooth buds. The crown or the top of the teeth forms first, then the roots grow and push the teeth out. When this happens with an adult tooth, it makes the baby tooth's uh, roots break down. Next, the baby tooth gets loose and falls out. Then the permanent teeth, uh, adult teeth moves into its place. Teeth need care. Besides two front teeth, you'll get 30 more permanent teeth. Um, but you'll only get one set, as they must last your whole life. So you brush at least both in morning and night and force between teeth leg regularly. Avoid fizzy drinks and sugary foods. Those help bacteria grow. Then bacteria attacks teeth and causes to decay. Dentists and doctors have found that there are strong connections between having a healthy teeth and healthy body. So taking good care of your teeth will help you grow and feeling like you have something to smile about. Plus, you have a beautiful smile that lasts a lifetime. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys like it. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.